Once you link to camera native media like H.264 or AVC Long Op in this example, you can use Transcode to create Avid Native Media. Once transcoded, you'll be able to remove the connected camera or drive. To transcode linked clips, you'll select them in the bin. And then right-click one and choose Consolidate Transcode. Since this dialog box includes lots of options for various scenarios, let's focus on what you'll need to perform a transcode. First, select Transcode if it's not already. You can leave Video and Audio on Same Drive selected and select a destination drive for the new Avid Native Media. If not already, go ahead and select Transcode Only Linked Media. That way, you won't create extra copies of media if you select a clip in the bin that's already been transcoded. Then you'll select Source Dimensions from the Raster Dimensions menu and ensure Keep Sources Frame Rate button is active. Then choose a target video resolution, such as DNxHR SQ or Apple ProRes 422. If you need to convert audio, you can activate options in this section to do so. These are the options to pay attention to when transcoding camera native media. And then when ready, you'll click Transcode. Once transcoded, your bin will look something like this. Media Composer adds a .new extension to the clip name and links the clips to the new MXF media files. You can confirm this by right-clicking a new clip and choosing Reveal File. And you can now safely remove the linked clip's connected camera or drive.